What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings, as you know. <clears throat> and I'm going to be doing my, my Q&A today, right after SmackDown, and now Rampage, which I, I really didn't think um, SmackDown was good tonight. It was okay with with Finn Balor and um, Becky and Roman. Um, I do not like that Bianca Belair is getting an, another shot for the championship. But like, like I said before, Shane McMahon said on SmackDown... You will no longer be getting rematch clauses. And now, like, n now it's back to that. Like, are you kidding me? <coughs> but, I was, I think there was only, like, one match I really cared about on on AEW. Oh yeah, and going back to to WWE for a sec. Um Bar B Baron Corbin is rich. Like after 3 weeks of him him being like broke. Like what the heck is going on with him? Like can someone explain this to me? Like is he like or was he really broke? Like or was I just part of or was I just part of a storyline? And I am rocking my Eddie Guerrero t-shirt. Latino heat, baby. Um, so, going back to, to AEW, um, I really liked just one match, like I said. I, I, I didn't really watch the whole thing because, first off, I, ha I had to make this video and I am super tired. But, I am watching, um, The Fifth Nightmare on Elm Street, The Dream Child, I think. Um, the Lucha, the Lucha Bros versus Jurassic Express for the, for the No More Contendership to the Young Bucks. Tag Team Championship Steel Cage Match at All Out. And the and, and the Lucha Bros win. Thank God. And there and there are your new tag team champions, I believe. But coming next week. So next Friday, I am doing my first ever AEW pay per view predictions. Because I think this might be the big pay-per-view. Well, one, because CM Punk is back, baby! Baby. Um, versus, versus Darby Allen. Um, so, yeah. That will be my first ever pay-per-view predictions for an AEW event. And speaking of AEW, I ordered a couple DVDs from from A from AEW shop, and those are on their way. They they have not been shipped yet, but they should be soon. Probably on Tuesday, the thirty first. They say they say seven to ten days. And I ordered them on the 24th, so, yeah, they're coming, you just have to wait. And I will be out of town, starting on the 7th, but not returning for, until the 13th. Um, but, there are, a, they, just telling you guys, um, there will still be... Q&A's on Friday. Um, well, I am out of town. Like, I did one in Florida um, when I was there. 
um, the eBay lookups, and just talking about WrestleMania weekend. So, those are still coming, but they're, but today, today, I, I uploaded, um, Fastlane, and the other day, I put up the Clash of Champions 2020 pay-per-view review, and those got filmed, like, in May, so there are a lot on my phone stored, so you, you still will get content. Don't worry. So, speaking of SmackDown tonight, um, so Finn, oh yeah, Roman Reigns has a new t-shirt out called The Bloodline, and, and it has like the Usos and, and Paul Heyman with the titles and, and like money. I, I think I'm gonna get that t-shirt soon. Although, I gotta take it off. First off, they have to take it off pre-order. Because, re, re, remember this shirt? This took over a month to get here. I am not waiting like that again. So, when it gets taken off pre-order, right in the cart. So, so Finn Balor comes out. We're we're thinking it's going to be Brock. Uh, no, but why would Brock Lesnar return and not be on SmackDown the next night when he was rumored to in the promos for SmackDown during Monday Night Raw? So, so so he comes out. Talking about how John Cena lost, how Brock Lesnar's back, and how and how Edge is talking about getting a universal title shot. What? No, he's not. And then I'm gonna challenge you to a match at Extreme Rules, but no, I'm gonna challenge you to a match next week. Finn, are you like stupid? Like, 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 don't get me wrong. I love your work. But, like, are, are you stupid? Like, are you mentally there? Because you, be, because you know that Roman Reigns put, took Daniel Bryan out of WWE. So... And also be John Cena. Beat Brock Lesnar. Beat Edge and Dale Bryan at, at WrestleMania. So why so why don't you just wait a month to challenge him at Extreme Rules tonight? But no, you want to challenge him to next week. What? And why? And why in the world did the Street Profits come out? I am so done with the Street Profits. I'm done. I don't like them anymore. Okay. So. Getting to the questions tonight. Um, I have no new pickups. Well. I guess this would be a pick up from last week I got Happy Gilmore and Billy Masson just on one disc but I I already showed you that um I am I am rewatching the Hardy Boys DVDs um I am rewatching this one the best of the Hardy Boys that uh, I just did a paper I just did a <clears throat> collection video of the Hardy Boys. So yeah. That was fun. I just thought of that last night. So I did it. 
and the and, and the 2014 co collection video is coming soon. I I already filmed it, and it's probably gonna be out later this week, or or next week. I'm I'm sorry. Um, but but let's get down to these questions. Um, from t there's actually two. From Wrestling Duty Central, would you like to see Daniel Bryan debut in the AEW? Uh, duh. Yes. 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 With his final countdown theme from, from back in ROH. So, I said to him, I didn't watch him in ROH. I actually did watch one match and so like I'm like walking down the hall at school so what do I put it what do I put in my ears if I put in final countdown like what's that song and then I hear it and I remember it because back in the day 2008 2009 Satro 2 came out, and I finished that much, much long before I ended this. I I finished G GTA in about five months. I finished Satro 2 in like three. So like I'm saying like. What's the final countdown? What is that song? And then I remember it's the final countdown. It's in GTA and also in Saintro 2. And I say, okay, that's the song I want. But. Will he go by the name Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson? That's the thing you need to see. It's going to be a Brian Danielson. Maybe. So then, <coughs> he says, I said, do you have any more questions? What is your favorite compilation set? Now, I... Of all time, come on, man. You, come on, man. You, you're putting me in a hard spot here. Um, let's see. Yeah, dude, there's a lot. Like, Mick, Mick Foley's a good one. I really like, well, I probably don't like them all. But there's like three matches or, or 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 two matches on this DVD. It's the it's a Royal Rumble and versus Triple H in the street fight. And of course, Mankind versus the Undertaker. Um, I like. I, I love the Ed, Eddie Guerrero sets that came out. Um, yes, I know that everyone is going to probably complain, but I like this set. Oh, oh, or this set first. Shawn Michaels, Mr. Mr. WrestleMania. Two disc. Um, Sean versus Brett. Uh, compilation. Um, this one is probably in my top ten. Um, Shawn Michaels, my journey comes with insert
I like these three. Batista, I Walk Alone. And it, and it does not come with insert, which I'm pissed. But those three. Um, the Rey Mysterio, The Biggest Little Man. It goes up from 2006. No, wait. Yeah, 2006. It comes with insert. I got the red version or the tan. I, I don't know which one I got on that. The, the tan version, I guess. Insert. And then just this, and then just this second one. And then, of course. This one, the documentary one, um, Chris Benoit, CM Punk, Paul Heyman, Brock, I would even say Brock Lesnar's one, the one from 2016, so, yeah, yeah, dude, that, The the Undertaker sets. Well, duh. Sorry. Well, duh. I like the Rollins one. I like the the Kevin Owens one. I like the Finn Balor one. I think this one is my favorite. Well, probably my top ten too, as well. Be because it's NXT and because I had Adam Cole. A lot of these had Adam Cole in them. And the reason I like this one is because you had the match with Brock Lesnar at Royal Rumble. And also you had, um, where the hell is it? Finn Balor versus AJ Styles at TLC. Which, a match that was not was not supposed to happen. So, fun fact for you guys there. You know that you know that this had to be on my list. Hard knocks. The Miz. The rise and fall of ECW matches. Yeah. Great great stuff, dude. Great stuff. And there's DVDs all, lo all over my lap. And you have this one, this one, those two. The Monday Night War one. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of them, man.
But tell me what are your favorite compilation sets in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. And I cannot wait for, for, for next week. All Out. And I can't wait to, to get All Out on DVD. Like what, what I said to DVD Central. I said the minute it comes out. The minute it's even released. On a an AEW shop cart, click add a cart, check out, done. It is on its way, and like I might do with that Bloodline T-shirt that I really think I'm gonna get for thirty bucks. Yeah. Oh oh yeah, and um actually one more pickup that I got. Whoops. Since it's back on TV, I, just, I decided to get the ultimate guide to The Walking Dead. You have um, Maggie, Negan, Rick, Daryl, Carol, a bunch of other people that... I don't remember their names of. Shane right there. And at Rick's bedside. Lori and Carl. Man, man, I miss Carl and them, man. You have Glenn right there. Oh my god, Glenn. Right there, dude. Right there. Shane. Yeah, so this takes us season by season. So, if you don't have this, guys... And, it, and even if you don't watch the show, you still need to get this. I mean, it, I mean if you watch the show, that's perfect for you to, to get this. Because, like me... I forgot most of these seasons. So, yeah. So, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to watch the, the Nightmare on Elm Street. The... The Dream Child. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.